hey professionals, so you've been using Snap Captions, you've been getting something that looks good, except for one thing. You want them to be on multiple lines, whether that's two, three, four, whatever. And there's no obvious answer, at least right now, in Snap Captions. Well, thankfully there is now a solution if you have DaVinci Resolve Studio version 20 or above. Nevertheless, let's just get right into the solution. So if you have a look here, this is a timeline for a short I created. And if we just give this a quick little play, you can see, sure enough, we're getting captions with two, three lines, and they're all contained in one self-contained area. So the first thing we need to do is open Snap Captions and find the text template we want to work with. So so here I'm going to go workspace, workflow integrations, snap captions. So once you have this loaded up, all you need to do is scroll through this templates page and look for any caption template that suits your style. So for this one, I'm going to go with kinetic glow, left click it. And in a moment, you'll see it get added to the snap captions bin. So we can see kinetic glow is here, which is just SC-15 kinetic glow, left click and drag into your timeline like so. And here you can see we've got this little hello world text showing up. It's basically a preview of our template. Now, once you have this on the timeline, you wanna left click the text plus clip, go to the layout tab, and then under type, we wanna change this from point to text box. Now, nothing's really showing up. You can't really see what's going on. Nothing looks different. What we need to do to see what's actually happening here is we need to go over to the left side of our preview window and select the fusion overlay. So now we can see this box, but what does this box actually do? Well, we can tell Resolve what we want it to do. So if I was to go back to the inspector window, I can enable wrap to text box. And now if I drag this in, you'll see that the words are automatically containing themselves to this box no matter what. So not only can we create multiple lines with this, but this also helps automatically make sure that our captions stay on the screen where they should be and not just off into the nether, all the way off the screen. If you ever get those really long captions, no one wants that. With a bounding box, well, no matter what, it'll always be there. To really take full advantage of this, I recommend downloading any safe zone overlays. We give some free templates with no need to give us your email. You can just grab them. And so I can just use the safe zone overlay to figure out exactly where I wanna position my captions and where they should exist. So here I might do something like this. And so now we know that these captions will never go outside this red box right here. With that out of the way, I'm just gonna get rid of the safe zone overlay and let's head back to this text plus clip. What we want to do is drag this from the timeline back into the media pool. Now this is pretty much the exact same template but with our own custom changes. So here we're just gonna name it something memorable like kinetic glow with bounding box. And now that we've done that, we can simply go back to snap captions and instead of choosing a template from this template section here, we're going to choose from the bin. And now if we go to this dropdown, we'll see that new template we've created listed right here. So we can left click on that and you can see here it is showing up and it's still got the bounding box applied. So with that done, we can now run through snap captions here. So I'm just going to generate my subtitle track, go to the deliver page, and then we can just simply go create captions. And so if we just give this a quick preview, not only do we have captions with multiple lines showing up, but they're always being perfectly contained within these safe zones here so that you're never gonna have them blocked by any unwanted UI elements. So yeah, I hope that helps everyone. And until next time, happy editing.